Dude, I got my ass kicked by 2020. Like seriously, kicked professionally, financially. It was a really rough year, and I know that I'm not alone. If you gentlemen are really glad that 2020 is about over, why don't you drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, you're not alone. It kind of kicked my ass too. I think truthfully, this year was hard for literally everybody. This was a horrible year. Like I didn't get to see my friends. I didn't get to go do things that I normally do that I get a lot of joy out of. And honestly, I've let some things slide in my life that Honestly, I know I, I need to fix. So today, guys, I'm going over six things I am doing differently in 21. The first thing I'm gonna do differently, I'm actually kind of embarrassed to admit to you, uh, but that's what we do here on this channel is, is try and help each other, right? And so the one thing that I've been doing more of that I'm very ashamed of myself is actually drinking alcohol. Um, I used to, prior to this whole situation that we've been dealing with, Literally like once a week, twice a week, I might have like a glass of wine. But that once or twice a week has turned into like three or four times a week and instead of one drink, it's like two drinks at a time. I'm not getting drunk, but I'm, I'm just, I'm not as sharp as I normally am. And honestly, I don't feel like as good as energetic, which is actually something else that's happened as a result of this whole situation that I need to change. Number two is I need to start getting up earlier. For years, I have been like a 5.30, 6 a.m. max. Dude, in terms of getting up, I'd get up. You guys have all seen my daily routine. I head to Starbucks. Well, guess what? I stopped going to Starbucks, obviously. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm just working from home. I'm getting up a little later, a little later, a little later. I literally now am getting up at like 7.15. Today, I got up at, I got up at 7.30. And the only reason I got up was because my cat was walking on my head. First thing in the morning, that is when I am the most creative, the most inspired. I'm not distracted by a bunch of nonsense and noise. And I've lost it. I feel like I've lost my edge a little bit for some reason. I, I know why. The reason, because I'm not getting up, I'm not doing my normal morning routine. I also am not as, I've gotten fat. I'm not like, like, like fat, fat, like I still got like some abs, but I am definitely heavier in terms of my body fat percentage than I like to be. I've also lost muscle. My diet's still good, but I find myself like snacking and like munching and like being like, ah, just have another scoop of ice cream, like a little more than I normally do. And also my muscles are starting to atrophy a little bit. I'm still lifting weights in my home gym, but I haven't been able to go to the gym gym or I haven't gone to the gym and done like heavy deadlifts, heavy squats, heavy bench, the things that I need in order for my body to really be as muscular as possible. Now is the time to say no to love handles and man boobies, gentlemen. It is time to get your body back and I'm definitely gonna do it. How am I gonna do it? I'm gonna focus on my diet and my weight training. I need to gain a little muscle. I also need to get that body fat percentage down a little bit. Something that's down that needs to go up is my bank account because 2020 was a crazy expensive year for me. Honestly, it's the most money I've ever spent in my life and um, my funds are, are down. Um, you guys know that I bought that old uh, dilapidated piece of crap church. I spent a crap ton of money fixing that, that building up. Now, the good news is that it's finished and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy. One of the upsides to 2020. The downside, like I said, is my finances. And it's not even that I spent the money, it's that I actually lost money. And what I mean by that is I spent it, but that money that I spent like fixing up and renovating that building, which is an investment in long term, hopefully will pay off. Instead, if I would have taken that money and invested it in a globally diversified portfolio of low cost index funds, like I would have made so much more. The truth is there have been like decades and decades of data that actually show invest Investing in globally diversified portfolios of low cost index funds is the best way to put your savings to work. Now, if you're like globally diversified portfolio of index, what? Then you need to hit that link down below and go check out today's video sponsor, Wealthfront. Wealthfront makes investing easy, affordable, and accessible. And you don't need a ton of knowledge. And that's the thing that I love so much about Wealthfront. All you need is a few minutes and $500. That's it. And you can set up a Wealthfront account and Wealthfront will take care of the rest. The other reason why 
why you're going to love Wealthfront so much is that their annual management fee is like little, 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 little freaking tiny. It's like 0.25%. So when I was growing up, I didn't have super badass internet platforms like Wealthfront growing up in order to make investing simple and easy. The other downside to growing up poor is that you don't have a lot of people around you that know or understand about investing. That $500 that you got sitting in your savings account earning like 0.000.000% interest, it ain't getting it done. You've got to take that money that you're not using and put it to work. And that is the reason why Wealthfront is so incredible. One of the mistakes I made as a young dude is I'm like, nah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not going to invest. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Well, all that later stuff, right? It has cost me a ton of money. Guys, you got to start. You got to start planning and thinking about your future. And the best way you do that is to invest your extra money. Guys, Hit that link down below, invest.wealthfront.com slash alpha M. If you go through our special link, guys, up to $5,000 that you invest is going to be managed for free for life. Guys, hit that link down below, invest.wealthfront.com slash alpha M. If you go through our special link, guys, sign up for an account, you're going to get up to $5,000 managed for free for life. The fifth thing that I am definitely going to be doing in the new year is consuming less negativity in terms of information and content or even being around pessimistic people. Oh my God, are you kidding me, gentlemen? This has been one of the things that I've had to deal with this past year. It's like, it seems like there's so much negative like crap just like coming at you. And what I find for myself is that when I'm around it, when I hear it, when I surround myself with pessimistic people or just a lot of negative content, there's so much nonsense and negativity and everybody hates everybody else and everybody's wrong who's not on that side and this side and people are posting negative like nasty YouTube videos about people that are decent people. And so for me, I got to stop consuming it because I find that when I consume it, I start to look at the world a little bit differently. It also just kind of like bums me out and affects my self-esteem. And that honestly, I'm done with. I can't do it anymore. I'm over it. Done. Which brings me to the sixth and final thing that I'm going to do differently in 2021, which is not worry and stress out about things that I personally can't change. And this is probably the thing that I need to work on the hardest. Um, one of the things that's been the most like emotionally hard for me this past year um, has been YouTube. My YouTube channel is like way down in terms of views and subscribers. And it's not just me. Like I know that like some of you are like, oh, your content sucks. <laughs> and, and I get that, right? I'm trying. But the problem is that I can't do a lot of content that I want to do like the Alpha M project and things like that because of everything being like all wacky. Anyway, you know, it, it's, it's, so, it, it's super hard for me. Um, I put so much time and energy and passion into, into making videos. And when they don't do well, even like, and that's the thing that really sucks. Like there are some videos that I've put out um, in the past year that I love, that I thought, man, this is a really great message. These are amazing videos. They're really going to help a lot of people. And they just don't get views. The ones that get views are like how to grab a girl's butt and stuff like that, which I get and everything. But honestly, videos like this, these are the important ones. Anyway, I'm not saying poor me or anything like that. I just, I just wanted to be honest with you because I am struggling. And this past year, I, I got my ass kicked. And um, I'm really glad it's almost over. But I just wanted to come on and, and level with you, honestly, and just share with you some things that I've been dealing with over the course of the past year because I know, I know that I'm not alone. The thing that I've come to realize, a lot of the things in 2020 that really bummed me out and that were honestly not amazing, I had more control over than I allowed myself to realize. And so moving into this next year, it's time for me to take control. It's time for you to take control of the things that you can change. You can't change it, don't worry about it. Brush it off. But if you can change it, gentlemen, now is the time. I also want you to know something. So hear me when I say this. You are amazing. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being my friend. Thank you for rolling with me in 2020. 2021 has big things in store for me, but also you. I'm bringing it, bringing in little knuckle. Bring, uh, Jen, bring it in for a hug. I don't you can even care. I think you're amazing. I love you. I think you're incredible. And I know that you are going to kick the shit out of 2021.